Hi, my name is Madison Gates and I am currently a senior at Waterford High School. The objective of my research paper was to investigate the effects of ableism on education quality in public and private institutions across the United States, physical, mental, and learning barriers. As a multimedia aspect of my project, I interviewed a current student at Stanford University named Antonio Mullane on his experience as someone with cerebral palsy the institutional ableism he faced, and how he combated it. This year, I've had the amazing opportunity to work with my school's drama club to produce a musical that I wrote called Antler Song. The show is a modern myth about conflict, curses, and the magic of the forest, and I feel so incredibly blessed to have been able to collaborate with so many talented, creative, and brave individuals to make this project happen. UConn ECE has given me the opportunity to learn how to think for myself. Rather than simply being fed information, we're taught how to really think about content and to use it to form new ideas about things, which is a skill that I'm sure will prove to be invaluable in college. Hi, I'm Sophia Cabrera and UConn ECE has personally helped me get prepared for college by letting me become familiar with medical terminology and have a better understanding, especially as going in as a bio major. Inside my house, I constantly act like a doctor, sharing new medical advances and the new knowledge I've gained about organs function. But my passion is usually met with a head nod rather than curiosity. My ECE courses gave me the platform to speak with fellow peers like myself who are interested in medicine. I'm grateful for my ECE courses because not only did I go into in-depth medical terminology, but I was also introduced to integrative care through guest speakers, and I was able to practice taking vital signs. My ECE courses, Allied Health, and medical terminology propelled my medical career where I hope to develop my patient's health through a biological and psychological approach. So my service project was working with the First Lego League and I was the coordinator for WOKIT and my job was to advertise the younger robotics teams, handle all of the communication with parents and logistical work, as well as marketing the teams, organizing the teams, and then following up to make sure they were successful. I also mentored multiple First Lego League teams and worked to teach students about mechanical design and the basics of coding. Hi, I'm Emily Laput. I'm from Beacon Falls, Connecticut, and I organized a health and wellness conference called Thrive during the pandemic to raise money for a local food bank. I also held a yoga event to raise money for a local nonprofit breast cancer organization. In total, I've raised over $12,000 for local charities. ECE has helped prepare me for my community involvement by educating me about serious issues facing people today in America. My ECE writing class educated me about inequities in society and how I as an individual can make change.